Saka Fett YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'm kickstarting my Christmas series with a Caribbean sorrel recipe. Sorrel is very popular around Christmas time and it's basically a drink. Some people actually use it in cakes and they use it in different things but I'm going to be making the sorrel drink today. Okay, so in here I've got about three to four cups of sorrel. I got this from St. Lucia back in the Caribbean sometime in January and I actually froze it for Christmas because I wasn't sure if I was going to be getting any. So this is why I'm using my frozen sorrel. It has been thawing out in a little bit of liquid and as you can see the water is already turning red. This is how powerful this drink is. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay guys, and it's a little bit frozen as mentioned. But that is totally okay if you're like me and you get it from the caribbean and you want to preserve it but you don't know how you can always freeze it okay and listen this is literally staining all right so just to show you how it is so i went in with about five six cups of water i will add another cup or two or possibly transfer it to a bigger pot later on but i just wanted to show you how it is looking okay so to make my sorrel i'm gonna go in with some bay leaves this is what i have over here okay i've got about four bay leaves i'm going in with some cinnamon okay i've got about three pieces of cinnamon and i've got about eight to ten cloves here okay so this is how it is looking so far listen this is not even cooked yet but look at how red and rich it is looking okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put in my orange peel in there as well this is just a little trick of mine i love putting orange peel in mine because i find that it gives an extra little flavor as well all right so this is not cooked this is not even done yet and it is looking amazing and that is because my sorrel was frozen just in case you missed when i said that all right okay guys so i've actually gone ahead and put my pot on the fire and i'm gonna let this boil for about 10 15 minutes because really and truly the beauty of making sorrel is actually allowing it to sit so that it can really let out all these juices so that it can be so rich and oh my god i don't know how to explain okay so look at that look at that yes my darlings and this is not even done yet all right it's gonna be so rich yes okay so let it boil i'm probably gonna add another cup of water in there my goodness guys if you could smell my kitchen it smells absolutely wonderful look at this yes look at how rich oh my goodness guys so this has been boiling for the past 10 15 minutes so what i'm going to do now is to actually turn it off and i'm gonna let it sit for a few hours okay now you can leave it for about three four five six hours it's entirely up to you okay i'm gonna let mine sit for about four or five hours and we will be enjoying this later on so you don't want to boil it too long all right so leave your bay leaves in leave your cinnamon leave all of that in because this will really help to infuse into the sorrel drink and you will have this delicious refreshing listen do you see how beautiful this looks okay guys so when it's been about four or five hours i will come back so i can show you how i strain it how i sweeten it how i serve it guys if you want to see how this looks when it's all done keep on watching okay guys so this is how it is looking do you see how nice and rich it is 
listen and we still have some more to strain so i'm gonna strain all of it and then come back when i'm all done Okay guys, so I was able to get about two jugfuls from my sorrel, okay? I'm gonna be sweetening this up to my preference. You can use sugar, you can use honey, you can use whatever you like, but I am gonna be using some granulated sugar. So this is about two pints according to my jug, and I'm gonna be putting about a half a cup of sugar and adjusting as I go along. Bear in mind, you can use as much or as little sugar as you like, or you can use honey, sweetness, whatever works well for you, okay? So let us go ahead and put some sugar in there. And I will be adjusting the sugar as mentioned. I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla essence. This is optional, but I find that it gives the sorrel such a nice flavor. So I've just added just a little bit of vanilla essence and we are gonna stir this up. Now this should be nice and ready to serve. You're just gonna taste and make sure that it is to your preference and serve it on some cold ice. So this is it, my loves. I hope you enjoy this sorrel recipe. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It was a pleasure having you here in my kitchen. And I'll be seeing you again soon in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.